Hello everyone, how are you today? I just thought I'd come on and go through with you the pens that I've written dry so far for this month. Now it's the 27th of April today and we're almost at the end of the month and I'm starting to think about pens and inks I might want to use for May. Now bearing in mind it's autumn here in Australia uh, my ink choices are probably going to be more with the warmer tones but you know every now and then I get a bit crazy and just decide to add throw something completely random into the mix as well but anyway I thought we'll go through what I have written dry already for this month and how I enjoyed those pen and ink combinations so the first one that was written dry this was actually left over from the previous month it is my Estabrook SD and Tortoise with a medium nib and in that I had the KWZ St. Louis Pen Show 2022 Norton Grape. Now that was a sample gifted to me in a ink sample swap with um, pen frame Miriam and I wrote that dry on the 14th of April and I, that was just such a beautiful ink in this pen. It, I mean this pen writes really well with just about any ink you put in it but I particularly enjoyed that combination. Um, so that was a winner, really enjoyed that. Um, and then the next one that I had left over from the previous month was my Lemmy LX in Marin with a medium nib. In that I had the Pilot Orochizuko Yamaguri. Um, that's also been written dry. That was a lovely combination as well. Um, I love the Orochizuko inks, they just flow beautifully. Um, they're saturated, they're lubricated they're just really good quality inks okay so the next one i've got here on my list is the twisby eco in persian green and i had that inked with well i've still got it inked with colorverse gravity wave i think i've got about a third of a fill left in that one now um and i'll probably write that dry before the end of the month now the next one i had was this twisby eco in pastel blue with a fine nib and i had it originally inked with more well, the only ink I've had in it is the Pilot Orochizuko Kurosami and I just it was the nib on it is smooth all of that but I just found I didn't enjoy a grey ink in a fine nib pen it just wasn't for me so I'll probably next time I ink this one up I will probably put a darker more saturated ink in it now the next one was this Twisby Eco Tea in Saffron with a broad nib and I had it inked with Taranashi Opera Rose and I love that ink. Um, I usually go on, or lean more towards the um, dual toned inks, like I just absolutely love those, they're my jam. However, I'm trying to branch out a bit and try um, lighter coloured inks, more chroma shading inks. Um, and this Teranashi Opera Rose was just, it wasn't like a real pink pink, it was had peach undertones, sepia undertones, it was just a beautiful ink that shaded really lovely and it worked very well in this pen. Uh, the next one I had was the Twisby Diamond 580, um, my white, white rose gold one with a medium nib and I had it inked with Sailor Shikiori Toko Amatsu and that was another really lovely combination as well um, pen and ink loved it wrote it dry I then refilled it over here with um, Diatramentus Jane Austen um, so it's already been re-inked uh, the next one the Twisby Diamond 580 smoke rose gold with Taranashi gentle green I think that's got about a quarter of a fill left in it um, these Teranashi inks are my first Teranashi inks and I'm really impressed with them. Um, lovely quality, flow beautifully, um, no complaints. And that gentle green is like more of a, it's got more blue undertones to it. Um, but yeah, just really beautiful. Um, the next pen that I had inked up was this River City Pen Company. Um, I had it inked with Roar and Klinger's Alt Goldgren and um, I love this pen. It was my first ever sort of bespoke handmade pen that I'd bought. Well, I didn't buy it. My husband and children gave it to me for Christmas one year. Um, and it was okay. Like, I wasn't exactly thrilled with the combination. 
Um, I love this Alt Gold Grand ink, but for whatever reason, it just it didn't win me over with this pen. So I'd probably try a different combination next time. Um, right, um, Estabrook SD, the new candy that I got, um, early Mother's Day present from my husband and kids. Uh, had it inked with Diatrementus Alexander Hamilton and that was a really good combination um, Beautiful deep rich purple almost like an aubergine purple color really lovely Loved that combination uh, The next pen and ink combo I had was the Pilot Decimo with um, Pilot Orochizuku Kajaku that's been written dry and that was a lovely I, I love this pen. I mean, you saw that my husband and kids gave me the um, Pilot Vanishing Point in matte black last year for my birthday. And my husband's now taken off with it because he's decided he really likes it. Um, he's also got another Vanishing Point. But when I got this, I decided that this Pilot Decimo is actually probably a better weight for me and a better width for me. Um, so that, anyway, that was a really lovely combination as well. Um, Pilot, oh sorry not Pilot, uh, Quaco Sport um, with a fine nib, I've got it inked with an ancient copper cartridge, that's still going, it only has a very small amount left in it, um, but I'm enjoying writing with it. Um, the next pen was this Franklin Christoph 45 in Blue Orchid, um, I had it inked with a Monteverde California Tail cartridge and that's been written dry as well. Um, and the reason I've got cartridges in some of my pens um, this month is because a lot of the time I couldn't get down to my desk to actually ink up pens and so forth and I was, I've been in hospital and all the rest of it. So cartridges were just a quick and simple easy method to ink up pens and it just it worked for this month. Um, the next pen I've got is the Twisby Go in a medium nib and I had it inked with Raw and Klinger's Solferino that is still going. I'm still using that. Um, the next one was the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Dragon Palace with a medium fine nib. That's this one. Um, and I had it inked up with a Sailor Shigiori Doyu cartridge. Um, that's been written dry as well. That was that was lovely. It's, these Sailor pens are beautiful to write with. Um, the next one I had inked up was my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Blue Green Nebula with a medium nib. And I had a Sailor Shikiori uh, Chuchusu. Chuchu. Hmm. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Cartridge. Um, and that was a lovely combination as well. Uh, the next one that was in dry was the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. Um, in the grey with a medium fine nib and I had it inked with Sela Shikiori uh, Harahara. That is a beautiful coloured ink. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and almost tempted to get a bottle of it. Might have to put it on my wish list. So the next pen we've got is a Pelican M400, which I don't have with me. Um, it's in the white tortoise with a fine nib and I've got it inked with Robert Oster Toffee. And that is just working beautifully. I love the combination. I love the Robert Oster Toffee coloured ink. It's just a gorgeous autumn toned ink. Um, as I said, I re-inked the Twisby Diamond 580 in white rose gold with Diatrementus Jane Austen. Um, I've also inked up a Twisby Eco um, Lilac with a broad nib and had it inked with um, Diamond Shimmertastic Pink Champagne. So um, a friend of mine, lovely friend of mine, Tanya. So she had originally sent me a sample of this ink uh, late last year and I fell in love with it. Just, it, it's just a beautiful, happy color and looks lovely on the page and it's shimmery and it's just beautiful. And the shimmer doesn't clog in a broad nib either. So I've really, I really enjoyed using a sample of it. And I was saying to her, I might have to put it on my wish list because I just fell in love with it so much. And she very kindly last week sent me her bottle of pink champagne. So I had to ink up a pen straight away with it. So, and that's what I inked up. 
Um, the next pen um, I inked up was the Twisby Eco in smoke rose gold with a broad nib. Um, and I ended up with a sample from Pen Friend Pay um, with Dye Mine Kong Girls. And it's just this beautiful violet coloured shimmer with sort of like blue shimmer through it. It's just a really beautiful, unique ink. I really love it. And I was just feeling like purple on the day. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to ink up another pen and, and put that in it. That's what I want to use. Even though it doesn't really go with the whole autumn theme we've got going on here. <laughs> um, oh, now this next one is a Sailor Prophet. Now I have been wanting to try a few day nib and I saw this pen on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to bite the bullet and just try it and see how I go with it. So I put a Sailor Shikiori Harahara ink cartridge in it. Um, that's still going. Um, and it's just fun to play with. Like it's, it's got sort of, I don't know if many of you have played with a few day nib, but it's, it's interesting and it's fun to play with. So I've written dry. Let's have a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, and if we add in the Twisby Diamond 580 that I reinked, that's 12 pens I've written dry this month already. It's not bad going, hey? So I'm pleased with that. Um, some of them will have to be carried over to next month, of course. Um, and then we'll just see where we go from there. So stay tuned. Um, hopefully in a few days' time I'll have another video with what I've decided to use for May. Um, until then, take care, everyone. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a good day or evening. It is raining cats and dogs here at the moment, um, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, take care. See you next time. Bye.